that ain't, that ain't back in the day. Proclamation 
recognizing fair resource. Thank you. Good evening. I'm so happy to be here. So now I'm actually going to be reading the City of Maryland Proclamation. Whereas, originating in 1983, as the Health Crisis Network in response to HIV AIDS epidemic, I has evolved into 513 non for profit so it's actually for you guys, organization, and I attained the status of the Relativity Qualified Healthcare, operating from five strategic places and locations in Midtown Miami, Giro Havana, Miami Beach, and Fort Lauderdale. And whereas Care Resource has expanded its continuum of healthcare services to address the increased needs of underserved and high reach population in South Florida. Whereas support services encompass a sliding fee scale, discount program, case management, outpatient, mental health, mental health is a Huge issue involving technology in the way that we need to find a solution infrastructure to advance community health care and whereas care community and care resources delivers health care and support services that adhere in its core principles of providing compassionate competent and committed care addressing the comprehensive health care needs of pediatric, which is for me super important. I have a mom of three children, adolescent and adult population, and whereas care resource through its educational initiatives preserves, measures, research endeavors, care treatment and support services to my telemedicine elevates wellness and diminishes health disparities. Now therefore, our City of Miami Mayor Francis Suarez and me Commissioner Sabina Cole for District 2, we actually give this City of Miami proclamation to Care Resource Day. And this is Care Resource Day. We're actually in anger. Everyone here tonight, your badge says VIP. You all are VIP guests tonight. But we are excited to see a lot of community partners here tonight that continue to work alongside us throughout the years, making our community healthier together. I would like to recognize the presence of the Florida Department of Health, the University of Miami, Grace Bay Medical Center, the Turks and Caicos AIDS Foundation, Empower Community Health Center, Jackson Health Systems, the Miami Day Gay and Lesbian Chamber of Commerce, the Miami Women's Club, SAVE, Unity Coalition, Survivor's Pathway, Latino Salute, Easter Seals, the Opera Foundation for Women, Trans Social, the Grove Churches, Clyde Lines, the Mississippi Tribe, the ETA New Zeta Sorority, United Healthcare, the Positive People's Network, ADAP, Community Resource Center, AHF, Walgreens, and other pharmacy partners including Gilead, Merck, Jensen Pharmaceuticals, and Veeve. That's a lot, eh? <laughs> I also want to thank North Miami Councilman Scott Galvin for being here tonight. Thank you for making it with us here tonight. Thank you. I also want to thank City of Miami Commissioner Sabina Cabo who represents the city of Miami, District 2. Um, thank you um, for being here tonight. 
And thank you to all the memorial donors in the crowd tonight that helped us create a really truly special tribute on the first floor. Now this memorial wall will continue to grow and if you would like your loved ones to be included, please visit that development table over there. And you know, indeed, the light remains. So at this time, please welcome Dr. Carrie Cradifill. Dr. Carrie Cradifill currently serves as our Health Center's Chief Operations Officer and has been identified by Care Resources Board of Directors to become the Health Center's new Chief Executive Officer later this year. Dr. Carrie Cradifill received her Doctorate of Pharmacy degree from the University of South Carolina prior to joining Care Resource and during a 20-year tenure with Walgreens she oversaw the operations of many retail and specialty pharmacies. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Dr. Cradifill implemented effective testing programs for Walgreens and pioneered a bill-for-service operating model, which was implemented nationwide in 48 states. Dr. Carrie Cradifill has the foresight to build upon Rick Siclari's decades of success. And we have the great pleasure of introducing her tonight. Please welcome Dr. Carrie Cradifill. First off, I really do want to thank the board, all the community sponsors, and all of our partners, and of course, this, really the team here at Care Resource. It's been amazing and very welcoming to me. I really look forward to advancing our mission and our vision um, over the future. So I have the immense honor of introducing Mr. Rick Sicleri. And I first met Rick six years ago. And I still can remember the day that he walked in the door um, in my meeting with Walgreens. And his passion and energy was just absolutely infectious and contagious. And to know how, there he is, I'm trying to find him in the crowd. There he is, I see him now. And you could just feel what he was trying to do for the community. And he just wanted to do everything and anything you could to further advance everything that Care Resource was doing. And I said this many times to the board when they met with me, I said it to everybody here. If there was anybody that could have ever pulled me from Walgreens, I was very happy with Walgreens. Only place that could ever have done it was Care Resource. And it was because of the passion and everything that's happened here, and mostly because of this man that I am here today. So, you know, now being the new chief operating officer, and the fact that he's trusting me with his baby means a lot. And I know I have huge shoes to follow in going forward, but seeing his advocacy and the way that he works in the community is still inspiring, and it still is energetic, and it still gets me out of bed every morning. So without further ado, the man of the hour, Mr. Rick Sicleri. <laughs> sponsors who are here, donors, patients, and not the least of which my staff and the volunteers who came here to celebrate with us tonight. It's a, it's a very special night for us because 
you're all here together, and the last 40 years have been all about community, a community that I've learned a tremendous amount from over the years, and you have helped guide us in our mission to create something significant that would be uh, sustained over time. The Care Resource story is really rooted with all of you. It's why we're grateful for your continued presence tonight and onward. Some of you have been with us for the whole entire journey, really, and others came along as we developed. In order to create the commemorative video you're about to watch, our marketing team went through literally volumes of archives and boxes of photographs and old videos uh, to create what, what you're about to see. It's not only the story of an organization, however, it's the story of a movement, really, I think. First, that you I ask that you please stick with us through the entire documentary as it will be followed by a very short, special moment to conclude the evening. I'm done. Um, thank you again for being here. I love you all. It's been a great long run for me. I look forward to the future. how far we have come as an organization and I would like the board to come up here if you don't mind we have something special here for Rick but um, as I'm talking but you can see how far we've grown and the impact the care resource has made in the community and what we're able to achieve and, and we've grown beyond just being here for the LGBTQ community to being a, a, an accredited, fairly qualified health center to where we're here to fill in the gaps and take care of the community in ways that only this man could see. Right? From the very beginning, almost four decades ago. And it's with a great honor that I have to give Rex Aclary this Lifetime Service Award. So Rex, on behalf of myself, the board, all the patients that you have impacted in our community, we want to thank you for the remarkable work and proudly present you this Lifetime Achievement Award. This award serves as a symbol of our deep appreciation for your outstanding vision, your unwavering dedication, and your profound commitment to the community's well-being. Congratulations. <laughs> Just proved I can get a surprise by Rick. <laughs> she did completely. Thank you so much for this, all of you. It's really unnecessary, but I love it and I'll cherish it always. You know, my only comment in response to this is I learned something a long time ago about managing and leading. You're only as good as the people you surround yourself with. And I have surrounded myself with amazing, amazing quality people over the years. People who took my vision such as it was, and they turned it into reality. And without them, I really I would have been nothing. It would have been a lot of good ideas. So I thank my staff, the volunteers, the community, the supporters, the funders, all of you here tonight, who helped make this possible. Because without any of you, without any one of you, this wouldn't have been possible. So I thank you, really from the bottom of my heart, for helping me realize a dream that I will always, always try.
just want to thank you again for all coming tonight. Um, and I hope you have a safe travels home, and I hope you stay safe. Let me say one thing, one last comment. Please, please give Carrie every bit of the support you have me over the years. This agency is amazing potential moving forward under her leadership. I'm fully behind it, and I ask you, please, again, give her every bit of the support you give me as I slowly transition into the darkness. <laughs>